All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to cap your FPS at a certain amount. Now on my channel, as you guys know, if you're like a recent subscriber or an old subscriber, you know I make Fortnite montages and like stuff like that, but I'm gonna start doing more tutorials. Comment down below if you like them or not. And if there's a buzzing noise in my mic, I really don't know why. I've been trying to figure out for a couple days now why, and I just can't figure it out. So, if you guys know why my mic be, might be buzzing, then just comment down below and tell me. Maybe you can help me out. And, yeah. So, I'm gonna get straight into the video. Now, before I, like, start the video and show you how to do all this, if you're not running a PC with Windows 10 on it, this isn't gonna work. You can't do this on console. So, like, Nintendo Switch, you know, PS4 or Xbox. You can't do it on there. You can't do it on mobile. You can't do it on any other platform than a PC with Windows 10. You can't do it on Mac mac os no other operating system than windows 10 and it has to be on a pc now that i've gotten that clear up with we're gonna get right into the video so down here on your start menu your windows menu whatever you want to call it open it and then right click on it and then the third thing up you say desktop shutdown or sign out and then run click on run type in percent local app data percent after you do that click ok now in here, there might be a lot of things, there might be a little bit of things, but it just depends on how old your PC is or how many things you've installed. So after you're in here, go to Fortnite game. And if you don't see Fortnite game, it's because you haven't installed Fortnite. And if you haven't even installed Fortnite, then I don't know why you're watching this video because you shouldn't need to do any of this. Now that you're here, go to saved. Double click on saved, it'll let me. Go to config, go to Windows client, and then you'll see game user settings if you did all those steps wait, wait. once you're on game user settings you have to right click on this go to properties and then let me bring this over here once you're in properties you'll see read this is going to be checked off for you guys you'll see read only and then you'll see hidden hidden shouldn't be checked but read only is going to be checked uncheck this then click apply then click ok and then ok again now open game user settings now go down until you see like where all your resolutions are so it should be like right here the third like paragraph towards the bottom and then once you're in here just show your resolutions and then right at the top of the resolutions the third thing down in the resolutions you'll see frame rate limit now i have mine at 150 because you know that's really what i use for most of the time while i'm playing but for you guys, I don't really know what your monitors can handle. Because my refresh rate on my monitor monitors is 144. So I use uh, 150 because that's just over my refresh rate. And my PC can handle that. If your PC can't handle that, your refresh rate is too low or too high. Then you don't... You could use lower FPS on a higher refresh rate monitor. But you don't want to. So if you have like better monitors with a better refresh rate and a better PC then you could do like 240 or if your monitors aren't as fast like don't have as high of a refresh rate and your pc isn't as fast then use like 45 or 75 or 60 it doesn't really matter what you use it can be any number like you could do one it's like impossible to play on one fps but you could do one you could do 10 you could do anything you want but for me, I'm just going to put it back at 150 because, you know, that's what I play on. Now, after you have whatever number in there, or however much FPS you want, um, you'll see it. And then, after you've done that, go up here in the top left, go on File, and then click Save. After you click Save, you can close this. Right-click back on here. Oh, let me. Why does it do that? Alright. And then go to Properties. And then turn Read Only back on. Check that back off. I mean, back on. Click Apply okay and then you can close this now after you've done that go up in the epic games launcher or whatever you use to play fortnite like whatever you open fortnite with normally i just click right here my fortnite game i just open it from there or you could do it from your desktop wherever you have it from but i'm just going to show you the epic games launcher so once you're in the epic games launcher you'll see in your quick launch it'll be fortnite or your library wherever it might be but for me, it's in my quick launch, because that's where I mainly play with Epic Games. And then, you can just launch a Fortnite, and then after you launch Fortnite, you can go in a creative or a normal game. And you'll see that your FPS is at whatever you put it at. 
So, I'm gonna close this now because I'm not gonna play Fortnite right now. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this worked for you. It should have, as long as you're using a PC with Windows 10. And I'll see you in the next one.